Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have an amazing day. Please do subscribe, like, and comment if you want to support my channel or join my Discord. Thank you. Okay, let's jump to the story right away. Last episode, Jin Yanshan told Jing Xiao to return to her college. Jing Xiao couldn't believe what she has heard just now. Huh? You actually agree? Going to school is your fundamental right. Why should I stop you? Jin Yenshin calmly responds to her not like his usual arrogant and bad-tempered old self-president Jean anymore. I'm going to eat now. Although, Jing Xiao is still confused with his unusual reaction. But at least, she is very happy that he agreed to let her return to school. Hearing he is going to eat, she follows him to prepare his food. You eat first, and I'll help you prepare the soup. A happy wife is seen running after his husband from behind. Meanwhile, in the bar of the building that hold the banquet. People like me like to drink a little wine, but white wine's taste is too strong. A little girl like you shouldn't like it, the red one is more suitable to your taste. Nervous? No, it's just I'm not used to it. Bai Bing is not used to drink wine and feels nervous. First time? Men like him should like inexperienced girls, right? Being asked by the investor, she decides to act as inexperienced girl thought that middle-aged man like him must prefer innocent look girl. Uh, yes. She then smiles sweetly with blushing face answers the investor. It's my first time. But only to get a disdainful face of that middle-aged man. Chuh. I thought my friend in the circle knew my preference. Why did he bring one with no experience? I... Enough, you may leave. President Lin asks her to leave as he is not interested on her. No. But Bai Bing actually doesn't want to give up and begs him to give her a chance that she will do whatever he asks. President Lee, what do you want? I, I can learn. Really? Yes, you can ask whatever you want me to do. Okay, you wait for me. It is. The middle-aged man then gives her some aphrodisiac pills. This is... Those pills can boost her wild thoughts. The reason I don't like an experienced girl is because they are too nervous. Can't enjoy. After having this, you will relax a little. Performance naturally will be better too. She hesitated at first. I've already come this far. How can I back down? Fighting. But thinking that she has come so far, she decided to swallow up the pills in the end. And the scheming gaze of the middle-aged man can be seen after she takes the bait. Good girl. Ah, uh, pre President Lee. After some time later, the drugs has worked. And Bai Bing's mind is already affected by the drug. She is lying under the bed and begging for the investor. It's almost the time. Seeing the drug has reacted, the middle-aged man makes a call to someone while loosening his tie and calls him to bring in the camera with his scheming look. Bring the camera in. Hey, Ojo, what's the matter? Next morning, shirtless by Bing is awakened by a noise of phone conversation. Oh, oh, that project. I've seen it, it's very interesting. And we can have a talk if there is a chance. Alright, alright, see you right up. Um, President Lee? What's the matter? The President Lee responds to her rudely. Where can I sign for that movie? She is asking her second female lead contract but only to get cold shoulder from that president. When did I say you can act in that movie? She almost couldn't believe what her ears just heard. 
What? Haven't we already doing that? Why are we only getting a strip? You did it of your own free will, and I didn't force you. She is very shocked upside and downside. But Jin Suima clearly taught me as long as I'm obedient, I can. <laughs> Just by you, are you worthy? The president looks down the scheming girl like her. You know exactly what tactics you used to Jin Suima. Didn't you like video? I recorded your performance last night for you. I can send it to you so that you can have a good aftertaste. Of course, if you dare to have any crook toss again, I will let your family, friends, and the whole world come to appreciate your style. So it turns out she was being punished and schemed by Jean Shimo. After all, Jean Shimo had given her many chances, but she was too ambitious and wanted to cheat for her career which... How can it be? How can it, it become like this? She can just regret it now. The scene skips to Jin Yanshin and Yalu. It is almost certain that Anya is still alive. Although the Rin family changed her name, but after all the look is still the same and it cannot be changed. They come to the hospital that Yalu's friend told. After investigation, it turns out the girl Yalu's friend recognized is really Anya. Did you find out why she changed her name? I didn't, but it should have something to do with her health. And she actually changed her name all along. This is the hospital she often comes to. It should be the time she's coming on. After some time waiting inside the car, Jin Yanshin can't believe what his eyes see and he recognizes immediately a figure that he has known for many years. A pretty noble young girl wearing a white elegant suit is walking out from the hospital with her mother. Go back to the car again. Ye Lu just notices that the girl has come out and wants to inform a Jin Yanshin. Oh, she comes out. Jin Yanshin, you? Ye Lu is so surprised to find out Jin Yanshin was already gone from his seat. Oh, sorry. Mom, I must better know it's alright. He has walked outside the car immediately right when he saw her ex fiance and can't wait to greet her. Anya? What would Jin Yanshin do with Anya?